Hello everyone, welcome to TechScale. So in this video, I'll tell you how you can install .OS in your POCO F1. So first of all, you have to download it, right? So for that, you have to go to any browser and you have to write .OS just like this. So after you do that, you will the, the very first link it, it's a Droid on Time. That is .OS Droid on Time. So you'll click on the link, and uh, the website will open in sometime yeah you can say it says 5.2 update is released 2021 release and stuff all the features if you want to know obviously i'm going to tell you all those features as well so you go to download section after you go to download section you have to find find your mobile here your your device that is so i'll be installing it in my poco f1 so i'll find beryllium here right here here is the beryllium i'll click on this so after i click on this uh let me see what is here yeah here is the vanilla option and here is the gfs option so vanilla that means no gfs will be installed that build is not yet present so we'll click on g apps and we'll click on this so here you will find number of uh, stuff like change logs and download stats so we'll click on download when i click on download uh, my download manager will open up so just a second will take some time sometimes so you can see the file is in download section and let me just fast forward the video so i'll click on downloads and in some time this will get downloaded and let me fast forward the video for you so the file is about to get downloaded it's 90 on it is on 97 percent 98 now and in some time it will go to 100 and then i'll do it what i'll do is i'll put it in my poco f1 in, in the file manager of my poco f1 so the video is down on this uh, build is downloaded so here I have I have my device my Poco F1 so I'll be connecting it with my laptop and here I have already, you can see, I have already in, uh, downloaded the file as you saw. So let me first of all, yeah, I'll change it to file storage, file transfer, right? So after I put it on file transfer, I'll just copy this file in my Poco F1, right? Just like this. So the things that you have to keep in mind are First of all, before installing, you should have TWRP installed in your system uh, on your the Spoke Web Fund. There are a number of videos that, that show you that. So I, I will not go into that. So another, another thing you have to do is you have to remove the security lock, right? So I have this pin. I will keep it as none. This will help us by, uh, like if we remove this, this will not encrypt our device anymore. So we'll just simply go to the TWRP section and we can easily flash our uh, device with the dot os so as you can see the dot os is copied in my system in my uh, mobile as you can see here so now what i'll do is i will uh, press the power up button and the volume button simultaneously so as you can see i'll just do that so this will help us reach in the twrp section right It will vibrate twice and that will tell you that okay this has been somewhere else let me do that again So here we have our TWRP opened by pressing I'll again tell you power up button and this uh, sorry uh, volume up button and power button simultaneously. So here you can see the install option and if I go to install you can see that I have this .OS version already here. So before that what you have to do is you have to go to wipe, you have to go to advanced wipe and you have to Dalvik cache and system. For the moment don't remove the data okay and swipe just like this. So when you do that you go to back you again go back 
then you again go back and click on install after install or when you click on install you will click on dot os Therium. and what you will do is you will just swipe and you will wait for some time as you can see it is showing that uh, dot os droid on time and the version it is showing that is 5.0.1 the android version is 11 and security patch that you can see is of 5th of april 2021 so for the moment i'll just fast forward the video and i'll see you on the other side when it get installed in a matter of few seconds our dot os will get installed on our poco f1 so just hold on for a second hope this doesn't give us any errors and it uh, gets installed peacefully so 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 2 1 and it is installed oh my god so what you have to do is you have to simply okay you can do one thing you can go to wipe cache and delvic and you do this and reboot system then you wait for some time this first boot can take up to five minutes so i'll just fast forward the video as you can see the animation has come this is a beautiful animation from dot os very beautiful name as well Droid on time dot os i didn't know what this dot stand stood for so recently i can know that it stands for dot os or Droid on time so let this animation play and i'll fast forward the video again OS is successfully installed in our Poco F1 and it, it looks beautiful trust me it is very beautiful and I anyways I want to highlight an issue that I faced during uh, this, uh, during the boot of my this device so what happened was since I did not clean flash my whole device so it it, it ran into crashing the UI started crashing when I first started it so the fix I did was I simply restarted it and the, my device started working perfectly so for you people who is not clean flashing their device Hold on for a second when you start the device, uh, it will lag for a moment but after you restart it will work perfectly smooth and you can see the gestures are just awesome so keep that thing in mind otherwise I'll just advise you people to clean flash it you will won't face any issues with this OS so before that keep one thing in mind whenever you are installing a custom OS in your device uh, any device always 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 back up your data that's always a good practice you should not just follow anything and start uh, you know applying it before doing anything back up your data that's a golden advice that uh, i want to give you people so uh, that means you will never lose your data otherwise if you're following for example if you're following me and you blindly started deleting it and stuff uh you can say you will run into problems so i want to highlight this so other than that you can see dot os is running perfectly we have this line nice animations and stuff you can see this transparent uh accent and i'll talk about more like more about this and what customization as we can do but still i just want to take us to the about section of the phone as you can see this is poco f1 the build number here the android version is here you can see the storage is here dot os version is here and all the other uh, uh what uh, do i call it this okay let, let's just click on this and yeah so security patch is of 5th of april 2021 and build date you can see it's of 12th of april so two days back of the phone so that's all for this video i will see you in the next one when i'll fully review this device uh, i'm in this os if it's like what features and stuff do you get it for the moment install it if you want to or wait for my next video so that i can tell you all the features and stuff subscribe to the channel if you find this video helpful share it with your friends that will help me growing this channel and installing and uh, like telling you more and more stuff that i find useful so see you in the next one